Alright, what is up guys? My name is Quantix and welcome to my 2012 setup video. So I introduced this idea in my last video and I got quite a bit of comments and personal messages saying they really would like to see my setup. So here it is. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I put quite a bit of time into making it and like I said, hope you enjoy it. So right now you're starting on my Xbox 360 controller. This is one of those new, the new ones I came out with with the D-pad. The, the, um, what do you call it? They, they made the D-pad a little bit better as you can um, uh, switch it somehow. Right, you see, the D-pad sticks out now and the D-pad goes back in. So it's a lot easier for games like Call of Duty where you're trying to put a claymore out or something or your kill streak and you actually hit the wrong button. But this way it's more um, it's more uh, strict on what button you want to press. So that's my controller and I'm going to zoom back out here and I'll, you'll see my full setup and we'll go one by one in the pieces so hopefully you enjoy it. So here it is. So that's my desk setup right there and I've also got a, a 51 inch TV up there so like I said we'll go up one by one. So right here I got dual screen monitors. Um, one of them displays my Xbox and I play right there and the other one displays my computer. And it's really, it's really awesome. I can have uh, a computer right beside my Xbox like that. And it really makes it easier for recording and just overall like browsing the web while I'm in between games and stuff. It makes my life a lot easier. And these are Samsung, or not, not Samsung, sorry, Dell 23-inch uh, um, LCD monitors. I got two of them. Pretty good deal. I think I got both of them for under $300. So pretty good deal. I think they're on sale though. So um, check these monitors out. They're really good. I don't notice any lag on the... Xbox while playing it. It does have a 5 millisecond response time and I thought that was going to be too too long to play Xbox because I would have screen lag or whatever but it turns out it isn't and it works perfectly for me. So go to my computer here. This is my uh, 2010 MacBook Pro. This is where I do all my editing, capturing, all my computer needs are in this computer. It's been it's coming up on its two year birthday and it's really really um holding up there. Um, most Apple computers do they don't break after a year like most windows and yeah <laughs> probably gonna ensue the the windows versus apples um, debate now in the comment war or comments so hopefully that doesn't happen but this is my 2010 macbook it's got a core i7 processor in it um, pretty fast I don't even need that much power but I got it just for the hell of it and yeah this is where I do all my computer stuff and underneath it it's you can see my capture card that's what I use to capture and um, it's a Hopodge HD PVR, really good capture card, pretty much the only capture card you can use other than the Black Magic for good quality, but the Black Magic you need to put into a computer tower and I have like a laptop so that it doesn't work for me. And if you can see it, I don't know if you can see it, but um, the computer is on a stand and that's called the Rain Stand, I think. I believe it's called, or that Rain M Stand. Not really sure, it's something, one of those words, but pretty cool um, stand that keeps my computer above it. And let's see, what else is there? Um. The full specs in this computer I'll put in the description. I really don't feel like listing them out because I probably don't remember half of them, but it is a 15 inch and Core i7 and it is pretty good. Oh, and another thing I did with this computer, I modded it a little bit. I took out the CD drive and um, put in an extra hard drive. And instead of a hard drive, I put in a solid state drive. And if you guys don't know what a solid state drive is, a really fast hard drive. I put my boot drive on there, my, um, my uh, applications, so they really boot up really fast. I would show you, but this camera is not really that great, so let's try a, uh, opening a program here. I will you see my mouse there, I don't know if you can see my mouse, I don't know if you'll see when I click, but I will click now, and it's ready, loading, and done. So it's pretty fast, I love it. Um, yeah. So right here, uh, I got two speakers here. Those are the Bose speakers, the uh, subwoofers down there, if you can see right there in the corner. That's my uh, Bose, the Companion 3, I believe, Series 2. So, really good speakers, um, really loud. Parents get annoyed half the time because uh, that subwoofer down there is a really big bass. I'll zoom in a little bit for you guys. You can see it down there, and yes, wires. The only thing about my setup that I really don't like, wires are everywhere. I need to clean up a bit, but they keep coming undone every time I tie them up. So, I'm still working on that, how to decide, um, clean them up. But that is the subwoofer down there, and it is pretty beast. It's makes my room shake and yes this is my room so do a quick 360 view there's my bed really bright window um so yeah i get up come to my desk do whatever i want and yeah it's pretty hard to leave this area i got everything here i got my tv 
got my desk, everything really. Just need food. I don't have a, I need a mini fridge in here now, I guess, right? So, what else is there? I can show you my keyboard, I guess. This is an Apple wireless keyboard. I really like it. It's really small, really thin. Um, wireless, no wires, really clean looking. And this is the MX Revolution mouse. It's a pretty cool mouse. Um, really nice shape. Like, pretty expensive though. It's I think like the $120 regular price, but I got it on sale for like 80 or something. So it's pretty cool. This is my old mouse. I use the Apple Magic Mouse. Um, pretty good too. It's just uh, some people don't like it because it's really low profile. Look how skinny that is. So it's kind of hard to use if you're not used to this kind of stuff. But I like it kind of bit, quite a bit. But I do like this one better. A lot better grip. I love that thumb thing that they put in there. And that is my Snowflake mouse. This is what I use to record commentaries. I'm probably not using that right now because I'm using the camera to uh, record my voice. So I probably won't be. That's probably not being used. Um, I hope this camera recorded my voice. Otherwise, I have to do this all over again. And right here is my more Apple toys that I like. This is my iPad 2 and my iPhone 4. This iPad 2 is a um, white, obviously 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi version. Um, upside down right now, but that's my that's my future car, guys. Right there. If you guys can see that right there, the Lamborghini, it's awesome. Got my phone right there, and I believe that's all I need to show you guys. This video is about six and a half minutes long. There's my chair. Um, let's see, this is what my average view looks like when I'm in in my setup. I got my uh, got my my Xbox, my computer. I can watch my um, HD Sports up there. Got a uh, Giant vs Packers on Sunday night, I guess. I'm not really a big football fan. Wait for my hockey, and that's that's typical Canadian life right there, guys. Snowing, um, shoveling. Let's see outside. It did snow yesterday. If you guys aren't from Canada and you want to see how Canada, Canada looks, open the blinds, and it's bright out there. But you can see all that snow. Um, yes, yeah, this is what we have to deal with in Canada. But no, I don't think there's any polar bears or penguins walking out there right now. So, anyways, this is my setup, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions. Just let me know and I'll answer them in the comments and